Hey Pisces, how are you doing? <laughs> Pisces, how are you all? I miss you guys. Um, here as promised to do a bonus reading for you guys. I hope everybody's happy, safe, healthy, you know, living, living the dream. The holidays are here, so hopefully that brings some joy to some of you. And uh, yeah, let's get on with this reading. Just remember that it's not going to resonate with everyone. It's also an intuitive reading. So what does not resonate with you, just walk away from it. And um, you might want to check out your other star signs as well. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do you have for Pisces, please? What is the overall energy for Pisces? The current energy, please. For Pisces. One card, please. Here we go. Okay, Pisces, let's see. Pisces, I love this. Treasure Island. All right, Pisces. I'm feeling like a surprise is coming. Let's see. Spirit, what can you tell Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know, please? What does Pisces need to know? Let's see. All right, Pisces. I'm feeling this one. Take one day at a time. All right. Take one day at a time. Let's see. Uh, we'll go with these. Spirit, what can you tell Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know? Messages for Pisces. Oops. I wonder if I have... We have the world and we have the six of pentacles. Okay, so maybe a cycle's ending now and things will be more balanced for you. Pisces, please. Okay. Let's see, Pisces. I think that's exactly what's happening. We had the world before, and we had the Six of Pentacles, which talked of uh, spoke of imbalance. So I feel like in, in your recent past, we have the Hierophant, and we have the um, Four of Swords. I feel like you have been um, thinking about um, a higher level of commitment, and um, with someone, I feel like, now this is intuitive, guys, and it's not going to resonate with everyone, but I'm hearing that there was possibly um, a situation where you were unsure. In the present situation, we have the King of Wands and we have death. So I feel like in order to, um, with this King of Wands, in order to offer this um, um, to make this offer to someone I feel like something has to end and I feel like it may have ended already there's someone there's someone or some situation that you want um, a higher level of commitment with and you you were in your head over it I feel like in the present now, though, you have the Three of Pentacles and you have the Two of Wands. So you have, you have a choice to make. You know, do you work together with this person? Do you work with this team if it's, if it's a company thing? Or do you go solo? 
Spirit is saying, take one day at a time. We have underneath the deck, which is your subconscious thoughts, you have the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is, is talking about um, working with a group, um, celebration. I feel like whatever choice you make. Now, if this is in love, because I have two thoughts in my head here. If this is in love, something has to go before you can go and move on to the next. With the Treasure Island card as the overall energy, you're you're looking for you're looking ahead to your happiness. You're looking ahead to your abundance, and abundance doesn't necessarily mean money. I I feel it's um, also mental abundance. You know, happiness and joy. But we'll pull some more cards. Let's see. Spirit, what can you tell Pisces, please? I'd like to clarify the cards on the table for Pisces, please. Oh, I just got goosebumps. Okay. Why is the hair font here, please, for Pisces? Thank you. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there is someone you want to make an offer to. But you're taking your time with it. Why is the Four of Swords? This was in the past, the recent past. Four of Swords, please, for Pisces. I think you're being reserved. I think you're holding back. Four of Swords for Pisces, please. Thank you. Okay, the Seven of Swords. I feel like you're feeling that you were hurt in the past. And you're, you're holding back from making this offer because you're doing a lot of thinking. You're in your head a lot about it. The Seven of Swords talks about lying, cheating, stealing, walking away, um, definitely walking away from things that don't serve you well, um, possibly wanting to just dip out, you know. So that's how you've been feeling. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here for Pisces? Why is the King of Wands here for Pisces? Okay. So we have the Six of Cups. So this could be um, involving a reconciliation. There might have been a third party involved. Why is the Death card here? Why is the death card here? Okay. The four pentacles holding back. You're hold, you've been holding back from making this change. Something has to end before something can move forward. And you know, if this is not your energy and this is the other person's energy, read it as such. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Thank you. The Seven of Wands. Okay, so yeah, the, the, this is, there, there's been uh, defensive um, communication to work together. Why is the Two of Wands here? Okay, the Six of Wands. So the Two of Wands, somebody has to make a decision to, to, in order to be victorious. And again, the Victory card to me, you know, I look at the Victory card and I'm also looking at the Treasure Island card back there. And it's, this, it's for the same purpose. You want to be victorious for the happiness, for the happiness. Why is the Three of Cups here for Pisces? Three of Cups, please. For Pisces. One card, please. Why 
Why is the Three of Cups here? Thank you. Yeah. The Ace of Pentacles. A brand new stable beginning. So either this is this is what you're thinking and, and you're planning all of this, or this is what your your person or the person you're thinking about is planning all of this. But something has to end. Um, and, and Spirit is saying, take one day at a time, one day at a time. Don't try to force anything. Don't try to, you know, manipulate anything. You have to take one day at a time. What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome for Pisces, please, regarding this reading? What is the outcome? We have the Three of Pentacles again. So that's working together. Working together as a team. Underneath the deck is the Four of Cups. So just be careful what you accept or what you offer because if it's not enough, um, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We have the Justice card under that and the Ace of Cups under that, under that as well. So like I said, if this is for you, if you are the one who needs to, um, something has to end before something else can begin if that's you um, just be careful um, one day at a time um, be careful what you offer be careful what's offered to you make sure it's what you want for your happiness if it's the other way around like I said be careful what is offered to you and make sure it's exactly what you want for your happiness so Pisces, there you go. There's your bonus reading. I hope everyone is doing well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will be around and I'll talk to you soon. Bye Pisces.